We need to set up my bullet journal spreads for July, and since I can't wait to get out of the house and get away, we're gonna use some travel stickers. So let's get into it. All right, first up, as always, I'm preparing my pages, duplicating the last page so I have enough for the entire month. And then we jump in right into the cover page and we're gonna keep it very simple here. I mean, simple when it comes to setting it up because I'm basically only using one sticker, but I cut it to size so it fits the entire page. And with that, we're heading into the monthly page. And I'll tell you right away, the setup might seem a little bit confusing at first, which actually it is. But I went on Pinterest the other day and I saw this as an inspiration and I thought, oh, this looks cool. This woven lattice kind of layout, I can do that. So that's what I'm trying to replicate right here. But it did take me a good chunk of my time. So I'm not entirely sure what the best approach is to draw this lattice layout, but I was just kind of placing my vertical and horizontal strips all at once. And then I went in and erased the parts of the strip that optically lie beneath other strips, if that makes sense. So really you just gotta look at it in front of you and you will know what to do. And then because the eraser tool in GoodNotes is really not the best, it oftentimes just erases way more than I would like to, which you probably saw I had to go in later and fill in those gaps again so everything is nice and connected. So now that that is finally done, I can go ahead and put in my numbers, my days. But since this layout is pretty big, it takes up pretty much all of the pages. There's not much room for decoration, but I tried my best.
And then lastly, just to make this whole lattice layout, I almost want to say lettuce, but it's lattice, just stand out and really pop. I'm taking the highlighter and just color in those little gaps in between. And this will, I think, just lift up the woven pattern and stand out even more. All right, moving on to the next page and where I write down all the things that I want to do, that I want to make, events coming up, just kind of like a monthly overview of what I can expect of that month. And I thought I would break it up a little bit. So I placed down this colored section onto where I place all of my stickers. And I was trying to kind of stay in that creamy and red palette so everything is nice and cohesive. Now we're heading into the first week of July, beginning with June 29th, so the upcoming week. And since this whole setup is very much travel themed, I thought I need to implement the world map. I mean, there's no way around that. So I took the world craft paper from the vintage set and I sized it up quite a bit, but don't worry, I'm not gonna use it actually. I just want to have a reference. So once this is placed, I'm taking the pencil and I'm starting to outline the continents. And each of these continents are going to be one day of the week. I've done something similar before with my vintage set a couple months ago but this time I wanted to draw it myself of course and then use the travel stickers along with it. And as I'm setting up the spread, you will notice that this is like all over the place, honestly. Not usually what I go for. I like to have clean lines, but I feel like I'm just limited to the world map. So we'll see how I like this when I'm actually in that week and I'm using it. I'm thinking about doing a flip through at some point just to go back to all of the spreads that I've created during the year and see which ones were my favorite, which ones didn't work quite well for me. So I'm thinking about that. That might actually be really interesting. Now we're skipping the next four pages and we're heading into the last page of the monthly review or reflection. And this, I'm gonna be honest, I'm always kind of lacking creativity at the end. I'm always thinking, what have not done before? I don't wanna repeat myself. So these spreads are never really my favorite. But I also have to say, since I am reviewing that month, I noticed in the last couple of months of using this page that I write down quite a bit in there. So I don't want the boxes to be too small and have too much decoration, too many stickers going on. So they really should take up most of the space because I really realized that I needed it. So maybe next time I should focus the creative part more like in the background and not around the boxes. I don't know, I'll figure that out at some point.
And finally, if you want to look at the spreads, once again, here is the flip through. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the setup. Leave your comments, suggestions, requests down below. I'm looking through all of them, but I can promise you that next time I won't use any stickers. I set the challenge for myself to just draw in GoodNotes. So we'll see how that will turn out. Until next time.